at Computex and the 2017 Intel Partner Seminar, some interesting details have released talking about the new Intel 8000 series processors. And basically this is confirmed information since it came straight from Intel themselves. And some of this is also leaked a little bit early. Anyway, so what is the Intel 8000 series? Well, they are six and four core processors based off the new Coffee Lake architecture and will probably be on the 14 nanometer plus node, just like the 7000 series was. They will also be part of the new Z370 chipset, which replaces the former Z270 chipset. And most importantly is that these new processors, according to this image, will be releasing in August or September of 2017, which is pretty awesome. Now, what's changed? Well, not a lot really, but I guess you could just say that, yeah, it is based on that 14 nanometer plus architecture. It's going to be a Z370 chipset, so probably still using the LGA1151 socket, um, but a new socket could spring up. And I guess really the largest changes come from really the performance, which Intel has stated to be 30% better than the previous 7000 series chips but that's on mobile. So whether that transfers as good to the desktop processors isn't yet explored, obviously, because the chips aren't out there and no one's reviewed them. And it's also really unknown if this is just a clock increase, maybe they went above five gigahertz, or if it's actually an IPC increase, in which case, yeah, you might actually see, you know, lower clock rates than the 7700k and higher performance now yeah it's it's still ambiguous about that because intel hasn't released any particular details about the SKUs, you know as in clock details and you know lga socket sizes and stuff like that so we're still kind of speculating but uh we know for sure that at least one big change is of course the core count which is now a six core chip which will replace the top of the stacks former four core eight thread position so that's where the 7700k was now whether we get a hyper threaded six core chip is kind of unknown but based off the previous lineups from intel i suspect a six core 12 thread cpu will become the i7 8700k and replace the 7700k so what does this all mean? Well, it basically means that if you're in the market to buy a new processor right now and upgrade, uh, especially an Intel one, don't do it just yet. Same with AMD. Uh, I'll be honest, if you're looking for an upgrade on AMD side, Threadripper is also going to come out, so there's really no reason for that. And Intel, they have Skylake X processors coming out, they've got KB Lake X processors coming out. And they'll also have this new architecture, which is Coffee Lake, also coming out, but that's in August or September. So essentially, you know, if you're thinking of upgrading, you're probably best to wait because any new CPU that you buy from either Intel or AMD is going to be basically obsolete very quickly, uh, particularly the 7700K and the 7600K from Intel. Now, even the new six core Skylake X processors, so that's like the 78. 100x i think or something like that uh is basically going to become obsolete by coffee lake as they're going to have an even faster six core processor that's in the form of the 8700k so yeah unless you really want like quad channel memory there's no real reason to pick that up since coffee lake is a more recent architecture and thus will either have clock speed advantages or ipc improvements over the six core Skylake X parts. Now, more importantly, it also appears that Ryzen and Thread, uh, Threadripper has definitely scared Intel into pushing out more robust and faster performing CPUs. And that's just based off this latest leak. Um, because when you look at Coffee Lake, Coffee Lake actually wasn't supposed to release until early Q1 2018 or about Q2. And they've kind of pushed it forward to August and September and Skylake X and even KB Lake X was kind of fast tracked. KB Lake X wasn't supposed to come out till next year with Skylake X kind of coming this year. So yeah, for sure, um, they've really pushed and ramped up production on these things. And most importantly is that 30% performance increase. Now, if that goes to desktops as well, then that means that basically the 7700K was just a rebranded 6700k and we've known that from the reviews there was no ipc increase or anything like that uh, it just appears that the process got better so they were able to have faster clock speeds um, at higher voltage so essentially 
uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say other than that Intel definitely was sandbagging and, you know, there's really no reason to buy any of the upcoming HEDT X299 chipsets. And uh, I'd probably be looking at Threadripper if you want, like, a real upgrade. Um, at least an upgrade that's affordable. So, yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Support us on Patreon to keep delivering you guys' videos. And subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'll catch you guys next time.